Um, now, I'm here with Quincy and Alex Kayo. They are both actors. They have been there in many films like Zora, Maria, and other many shows in Showmax. And so I'm here to talk to them because today we have had a prize giving, as you've seen. And I want them to tell us how the prize giving has been, how was the experience. Uh, so, Alex, on your side, how was the prize giving? Do you think Mwenya Meshinda and deserve? Yeah, personally, I have a lot shows and I feel and I deserve. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been very tight mm -hmm. and very well organized mm -hmm. and yeah. So, I think mm -hmm. I think it's destined for greatness. So the way I uh, I understand you've been there in some shows and you've got to be go go ground Cindy. So just asking, uh, now that you are a connection somehow, yeah. do you think that you can see potential for the future generation? Yeah, definitely. New generation is energetic. Mm -hmm. Um they have better skills than we do. They are more innovative mm -hmm. and they've found new ways of approaching acting things we didn't know and we get to learn from these people. So yeah, it's exciting. It's an exciting place to be in Kenyan film and arts. Yeah. So Quincy, um, you see theater, kuna watu wanaimbanga, kuna watu wamevia kudance. Do you think there is a space for people with such talents in the film industry? Yes, there is. Um, all they need to do is just put themselves out there. Mm -hmm. That's all they need to do. Wasikalie, mm -hmm. show everyone that they can do what they claim they are good at doing. Yeah. If they can prove to everyone that they are really good, they'll get paid for it. I promise. Uh, then today you have also talked about you're not happy because of the competition that you have seen. Uh, <laughs> so, and you know, there's a, this common saying that, oh, at raising your quality, you face a zico, but do kukua. When do you think this generation that you've seen here will be able to make it in the film industry to the position that you are? So what people should know is there's no such thing as we are good, or we are common faces. That's why we don't leave screen. There's no such thing. Mm -hmm. The reason we don't leave screen mm -hmm. is because no one has come to remove us from the screen. Mm -hmm. You know, if this new generation can remove us, what appear the opportunity they need. Mm -hmm. But if we still prove to be more competition to them, how what are I? Oh. That's the problem. <laughs> we just need to pull up their socks. Mm -hmm. And let's not think of it as kututoa kwa screen ama kutoa wengine kwa screen. Mm -hmm. Let's work together. We are not. It's not a competition. It's not a fight. I mm choose -hmm. rugby and acting. No, it's not. No, nah. <laughs> we are, we work together. We love each other. Mm. Then Alex, I'd like to ask. Do you think that okay to the both of you? Do you think that you need connection to make it into the current film industry the way it is? Because of late, you have seen some change in the faces mm -hmm. that are there currently. Like you were not there in Maria before. You were seeing the same faces, but there's a switch. Do you think that it is coming as a result? As a result of connection or might it's just hard work and looking for these ways um i don't akuna akuna connections really you see the more you go to auditions the more you you learn something new the more you get to know people you see in our job there's no certain office you go to yeah. with papers it's the people relationship that's true wewe ukitaka kuwak na mtu hata ruto akiingia Atafanya kazi na serikali ya huru. Atakuja na watu wake, yeah? Yeah, yeah? Because these are entrusted people and, and that's how it works. The reason why you kind of see the same faces also to add on is because the producers trust these people to deliver these roles. Yeah. So it becomes, I know them and I know how they do it and I know their discipline. But once you break that ice into TV, that's it for you. Once you have to keep knocking and knocking and knocking and knocking up until when the ice is broken. Once it's broken, that's it for you on TV. You'll just be hovering from audition to audition. Oh, Even you won't have to uh, apply for them. Uh -huh. They call you and tell you I have a role for you. So that's how you invest. But how long do you invest? We don't know. It can be five years. I've been invested 11 years. Oh, it's so, the luck. Yeah, so basically it depends with your journey. Your time. Yeah, timing, yeah. Your but path. time will always come. If yeah. you are if it's in you are in for the genuine reasons, not just for fame, <laughs> time will come. It always comes. Yeah, that I assure anyone. Yeah. Yeah, besides if the intentions are pure, be sure you'll make it. Yeah. Do you share the same thoughts? Yes, I do agree with Alex. Uh -huh. Alex is a vet. Alex has been doing this for years, so definitely what he says is true because he's talking from experience. And I've learned so much from him. And also, 
it comes it always boils down to time and patience so you just need to be patient and you need you need to love what you do i started acting not because um i needed a check i started acting because it's something i wanted to do later it involved an okay i want to pay rent now okay i want this now now let me increase my acting let me act in bigger things now you know so it's all about passion that leads to more it's not just wanting fame i i nearly took here to famous i i i just found out how people know my second name no it's that's how it happens mm-hmm. but if you expect it it will never come if that's what you're looking for it will never come okay like you have had let your intuitions be true and stay true to their path wait for your time break the ice and everything will be and alex will say bye bye until next time